Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the effect of inflation on debt investments and debt. What is inflation? Inflation when the prices, the general prices of goods and services increases. As a result, inflation will erode, would reduce the purchasing power of money over time. But the question here is when that purchasing power is reduced, when we have inflation, how does that affect debt investment and if you are holding debt. So the inflation can have a varying effect on debt investments. And when we say debt investments, for simplicity, we're gonna assume bonds. But bonds is not the only form of debt investments. You can have bonds, you could have fixed annuity payments, you could have all sorts of contract where you, where you are receiving a fixed amount of money, which is similar to a bond. And debt, debt is basically when you borrow money. So it will have a varying effect on debt investments and debt. Those are two separate topics. So here's the bond and here's the person carrying the debt. It depends on the type of the investment and the terms of the debt. We're going to see the investment could have a fixed rate investment. Fixed rate means the coupon on these bonds are fixed. If they promise you 6% on this bond, they will always pay you 6%. Or you could have a bond where the where the rate is a floating rate. Floating means it's going to change. It's structured to adjust interest rate periodically based on a benchmark. For example, the LIBOR benchmark or the government yield, the London Interbank Offering Rate. What does that mean? It means if inflation goes up by one point, so rather than earning 6%, now they add 1% to your bond and you will earn 7%. And the same is true if inflation goes down by 1%, you would rate as 5%. So depending on the type of the bond you are carrying. You could also have fixed rate debt. For example, you might borrow money and the rate is fixed and we're gonna look from a lender's perspective and the borrower's perspective. Also, you could have a floating rate debt. You could borrow money and your rate on that debt is floating, it changes. And we're gonna look at it from a lender's perspective as well as the borrower's perspective. Let's go ahead and to start to discussing the fixed rate investment fixed rate debt investments before we proceed any further i have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com farhat accounting lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your cpa exam preparation as well as your accounting courses my cpa material is aligned with your cpa review course such as becker roger wiley gleam miles my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Well, what we're looking at here are bond and similar instruments to bond. Similar instrument means any instrument that's going to pay you a fixed amount of money over time plus it will pay you your principal, the original amount. So any investments, it could be an annuity, it could be bonds, but bonds are most common. So with fixed rate debt investment, it's gonna give you a predetermined interest rate, 6%. So when inflation rises, the future value of the fixed interest rate payment may decrease in real time. So for example, you invested $1,000 or $100,000 and you are receiving per year 6%. So you are receiving per year $6,000. And this rate don't change because it's a fixed rate. Now the $6,000 for the sake of illustration, again, I'm gonna assume we are buying cups of coffee and we're gonna buy a lot of coffee. So let's assume per year you consume 3,000 cups of coffee. Well, because the cup of coffee is for $2, so you could use the $6,000 and buy 3,000 cups of coffee. Now let's assume this is year one. In year two, we have inflation. You are still receiving $6,000. Now the cup of coffee is $3. Then you could only buy 2,000 cups. So what happened is the real value of the 6,000 went down. So when inflation rises too, new bonds issued in the market tend to offer a higher rate. So you have a bond that's paying 6%. Now in year two, interest rate went up. The new bonds are paying 8% or 10%. No one wants to buy your bond. Even if you want to sell it, no one's going to buy your bond. Therefore, your bond would lose value. 
your bond would lose value. The existing bonds with lower fixed interest rate becomes less attractive, leading to a decrease in the market value. Now, the opposite is true. Every, everything I say about inflation going up, the opposite is true. If inflation decreases the value of the existing bond, let's assume now the new bonds are only paying 4%, but yours is paying 6 then everybody wants to buy your bond, the bond value will go up. What you need to know is this. Overall, as inflation increases, the real return on these investment decreases. So when inflation goes up and you're still getting the 6000 the 6000 is buying you less. Therefore, your purchasing power is reducing. This means that while you still receive the fixed interest payment of 6000 the purchasing power on, of these payments may decline. Now they pay you, they buy you only 2000 cups of coffee. So this is the fixed debt investment. Well, guess what? You could have a debt investment, but you could structure it in a way where the interest rate is a floating, it changes, it floats. Floating typically have interest rate that reset. Reset means changes periodically every three or six months. So if inflation increases, the rate on these investments would rise as well because they are linked to some sort of a benchmark, either the LIBOR or US Treasury. So if the overall interest rate in the economy increases, well, guess what? What they pay you on this bond also goes up. And this adjustment mechanism will help you to mitigate the inflation effect on your real return. So if, you, if they're paying you six, interest rate went up. Now they're paying you one additional percentage. They're paying you seven. Well, yes, everything up went up in value, but rather than getting the 6,000, now you got 7,000. You're, you're going to be getting 7,000. So it will mitigate that increase in rate. Some floating rate debt are specifically to protect you against inflation. For example, in the US, we have something called the Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, or for short, they are called TIPS. Their whole purpose is to, is to adjust the value of the investment to protect you from inflation. But bear in mind, if inflation goes down, your, your real return would also go down as well. So TIPS have their principal value adjusted based on the changes in inflation, ensuring the real value of the investment remain stable, relatively stable. So this is from the investment perspective. Now let's talk about from the debt. How does inflation affect the debt? That means when you borrow money. Let's talk about new borrowing. Well, if we have inflation, as we said, when inflation kicks in, the Federal Reserve increased the interest rate. What's going to happen to the borrowing cost? The borrowing cost. So if you want to borrow money now, the borrowing cost is higher. So inflation can increase the borrowing cost for individuals, businesses, and government. So it costs more money. It costs more money to operate. When inflation rises, lenders typically demand higher rate of return to compensate because lenders, especially the longer they want to lend you the money, the higher they want the return because they want to protect themselves. So this means borrowers may face a higher interest rate expense when taking a new debt or refinancing an existing debt. So as a result, the cost of servicing the debt will put pressure on the borrower's finances, assuming, again, this is a new loan. Now, from the lender's perspective, lenders are happy to lock higher rate on new debt. So if the interest rate went up, they would rather charge you the newer higher rate so they can lock it. How about if you already have an existing debt and interest rate went up, inflation went up? If inflation increases, the value of the outstanding debt decreases. Why? Because let's assume you borrowed $100,000 at 6%. Now you are the borrower. You have to pay per year. You have to pay per year, pay $6,000 per year on this debt. Now, let's assume you were making, um, just for the sake of illustration, $70,000 per year when you took this loan. Now, when, when, when inflation kicks in, when inflation kicks in, your company raised your rate by... Uh, by $5,000. So the company says, you know what, since inflation is here, we're going to raise your rate by $5,000. So notice here, because of the inflation, you increased your income by $5,000 to compensate for the higher uh, higher cost of living. However, your debt, the $6,000 debt, it did not change. Therefore, you can take this $5,000 that they gave you as extra money and pay off, make, make your payment. And you're like, great. I'm not really, you know, I got extra money to pay the debt. And who knows, they might increase your salary to 80% to compensate for inflation and your payment will stay the same. 
that's so if you have that and inflation kicks in and your payment is fixed then you should be in good shape you should be in good shape so the fixed amount of that remain the same in nominal terms but in real terms it decreases this can be advantageous to the borrower as the repayment is worth less in real term however who's going to be affected the lenders the lenders bear the loss of the purchasing power because the lenders now the people that lend you the money you're paying them six thousand dollar but you should be paying them more but since the debt is fixed however if inflation outpaces weight wage growth or income increases then you're in trouble so if the inflation if your wages are not increasing with the inflation then guess what it, 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 didn't, it didn't really help you because the assumption is you're getting more money more nominal money to pay a fixed amount if that's not the case then it's not beneficial now bear in mind if you have a variable rate the lender is protected it means your payment goes up the lender is protected let's talk about few investments that are considered inflation protected now what is inflation protected investment any investment that changes in value with inflation is inflation protected Okay. what could be what could be some some of those historical historically inflation protected investment if you buy gold silver metal oil they historically work as a hedging against inflation so investing in commodities in general can provide a way to preserve value during inflation because what happened is this gold will go up silver will go up all the metal will go up because the prices of things went up and those are actual real things also real estate if you have a building and you rented that building so the building itself it will go up in value because the price of everything went up and you have that real asset also if that building generate income and you can increase your rental income assuming you can increase your prices then you are protected you are protected livestock cows any sorts of livestock they also go up in value because they need the consumers they will need to pay higher prices any agricultural product also given everything else equal it should go up in value because if you go to the store to buy tomatoes potatoes bananas anything you want to buy it goes up during inflation it means also the producer raise the price as well to keep up with inflation now inflation is not good but at least they are protected so simply put any anything that increases in value pr proportionally or faster than inflation is inflation protected what should you do now go to Farhat lectures look at additional MCQs that's gonna help you practice what we just learned practice what we learn means apply what you just learned okay you understand it that's great but what you want to do you want to learn it by practicing invest in yourself invest in your CPA exam good luck study hard and stay safe